Dan Electro. It's different. Back to hook. <laughs> reverse delay. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not I'm not much into the reverse delay, so I'm handing this entire video off onto you. <laughs> oh, well, in the world of psychedelia and, uh, and you know, tape delays, when you could flip a tape in the studio, and like, hey, let's do a backwards part. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and then let's do that, but let's build it into electronics that can do it for us. Uh, we've just got to say now, uh, mm. because it's the law, mm. uh, Dan Electro sent us these pedals, uh, but we are sending them back. Yeah. Yeah. But... Cool. But thanks for sending. This is part of this retro series that are. Look. They, they look terrific. They're all. Ba- they look like they're all banged up and dented and twenty years old, and the paint's all faded and yep. matte. And the old knobs, old grungy knobs that look dirty, even yeah. though it's brand new out of the box. It's, yeah. it's, they're all beat up and dinged and scratched and. Yeah. They're yep. relict, I think, is the correct term. <laughs> yes, of course. Anyway, the manual says, nobody does reverse delay like this. Invented by Dan Electro. That's a big claim. There Invented by Dan Electro in 1999, this pedal has achieved cult status. Originals cost a small fortune. Why? Because of its warm violin-like, organ-like tone. It literally flips the phrase you just played and plays it backwards. There is nothing like it. Party like it's 1999 because it is. There we go. All right. Let's play and twiddle some knobs. What do you think? All right, let's do it. All right. how you can have some of the original phrase in there but you can wind you can wind the mix knob right up so you only get the reverse which i think we need to do let's do it because that's how it should be used yeah yeah Fast licks. Let's see. Yeah, got a tiny bit confused, but it's okay. See what happens if you turn the speed down a bit. Oh, uh, that, well, that's as low as it goes. Yeah, I meant turn the speed back so it's faster. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the fact that you can have repeats, because some of these only give you just one reverse. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 While we're playing psychedelic backwards licks, yeah, I'm going to turn on this uh, Dan Electro three three six double nine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do it. Put the octave on. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> well, welcome to the sixties. It's only got three knobs, so there's not much else we can do. 
Yeah. But um, I just want to hear if it does like a little sort of in the background ambient sort of thing while you're sure. playing. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. So there's a sort of a whole genre of music of ambient players that use them very low in the mix just to give a nice sort of ambient wash underneath. Yeah, um, yeah. That's really different to have that reverse wash underneath. Yeah, that. yeah. And it just adds a different character to everything. And and where it really comes into its own is when you do the tap tempo, but. It doesn't have tap tempo, unfortunately. <laughs> the H9s, if, if you set it really low on the Eventide H9 and yeah. use the tap tempo, oh, it's, wow. it's yeah. just sounds amazing. Um, I also turned um, I also turned the reverb up yeah. in on the... Um, on, the on Strymon, on the on Iridium. The Iridium as well. Yeah. So anyway, that's it. Dan Electro, back talk. It's great. Let us know if you've got one. Let us know if you had the, one of the originals. Let us know if you've got one of the much sought after originals. Yeah, leave a comment. Let us know how you set yours and how you use it because I don't really use it at all. Hit subscribe. Yeah, do that. That would be amazing. Thank you. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>